ceremony of 2022. My name is Mary Alice Gunthu, and I am the director of the Next Generation Medical Academy. We are here to recognize the great achievements of the students of the Next Generation Medical Academy. The Medical Academy is a program of the Rural Schools Innovation Zone, which is a collaboration I have the, the distinct pleasure of uh, a 
announcing tonight's uh, awardees and recipients. And before we do that, I want to acknowledge, first of all, our three school districts, Brooks County ISD, Greer ISD, and Pequot ISD, and everything that they've done. It takes vibrant, progressive leaders to stand up for their kids and give kids a situation and some opportunities that have never been here before for rural education and rural students. This is not a collaborative that just happened overnight, but it's a collaborative that joined together. And, and trust me, we've had our ups and we've had our downs. But this is a major up for us right now. This is a major pinnacle in the things that we've accomplished. This is our first cohort to graduate with four certifications. And we, I, we owe it, I owe it all to our leaders of our school districts. And on stage tonight, they'll be handing over the pins and acknowledging their, 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 their students from their different school districts. So they'll stand and, and be honored tonight with a round of applause. First, we have Superintendent of Schools from Sir ISD, Mr. Conrad Cantu. <laughs> Representing Fremont ISD tonight is Fremont Collegiate High School Principal, Claudette Garcia. <laughs> and representing Brooks County ISD from Prius High School, our Ignite Academy Director, our Associate uh, Vice Principal, Assistant Principal, our CC Director of the Van Committee Hats, Mr. Oscar Galini. <laughs> Again, parents, feel free to come up and take the pictures. We'll now commence with the pinning ceremony, and the pinning will happen with the district representatives up here in Toronto and also with Dr. Venom. First, Ms. Victoria Adams. EKG and medical assistant. Jaden Espinosa, the body. EKG and Probotomy.
just a reminder, those with white coats receive all four certifications, EKG, phlebotomy, patient care check, and medical assistance. Of course, they won't be acknowledged for the two that are being passed this year. Aisa Casa, patient care check and medical assistance, with her white coat. Jaywood Gonzalez, patient care check, medical assistant, white coat. Stephanie Gutierrez, EKG and the body.
Jaden Mendieta, EKT Labani.
College faculty and staff, thank you for all your support in doing what we've been doing for the last two years and making 100% of the passing rate on all four of our certifications. Without your true support, that wouldn't have happened. So thank you for that. We appreciate, truly appreciate it. <laughs> Ms. Guerra, behind the scenes, thank you for putting this all together. Thank you for putting up with us. Thank you for being very patient with Mike Gonzalez and not responding back to your emails. Thank you for letting us uh, be here tonight. And parents, wow, what, what, what an accomplishment that, you, that you're able to see for your kids. This is the true testament that your zip code, your area code, does not forbid you from gaining opportunities that other bigger urban, suburban areas have. The Austin, San Antonio, the Corpus Christi of the world. You know, we can do this big in free America. We can do it big in Fremont, we can do it big in Bacurias. Guys, if you have younger siblings, if you have younger students that are there, please reach out to your high school principals, your counselors, get them involved. Be sure that the opportunities that are, that are there for your students in the, in the future are not taken for granted. Mr. Gadu, Mr. Van Macy, uh, Dr. Casas, the, the school boards of Freer, Fremont, and, and, and Brooks County do a phenomenal job of supporting the endeavors and opportunities that we have for the Rural School Innovation Zone and allowing our students, and we do mean our students, allowing our students the opportunities that no one else in South Texas or rural Texas has for them. The, the zone, the Rural School Innovation Zone, the RIS, depending on who you're talking to, it's not just a common vocabulary term in, in deep South Texas and Region 2. It's not something that we just barely heard about. It, it's nationally known. We're, we're recipients of two major endeavors on the national on the national fund. The Rural Tech Project is one of them and the YES Project. We've just been invited uh, to go present in New York City June 8th and 9th on, on our endeavors with the Rural Tech Project. Our the, the zone has also been invited to go speak in Portland, Oregon with Empower Schools on June 28th, 29th, and 30th, one of those three days. So this is a national situation that people from Tennessee, Colorado, South Carolina, West Virginia, uh, Louisiana have all come to visit. The one thing they leave away with is the opportunities that we have in front of us and our phenomenal leadership that has allowed us to be where we're at. So please, 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 I, I can't say it enough. It's not a one-time thing. Please let your kids take advantage of it. Get in front of Ms. Hinojosa, Ms. Garcia, uh, Mr. Galindo, Ms. Adera, and, and Val Fremont or Freer, and we will make things happen for you from here on out. One last thing, I know Ms. Adams up there, she's struggling right there, she's holding on to the person up there. This is the only academy right now that has had representation in all three districts earning certification. Okay? We have a young lady from Brooks County that travels an hour and 15 minutes, twice, three times a week for her certification. So where there's a will, there's a way. So I, I take my hats off. Ms. Lori in front, Ms. Jessica, my director, Ms. Gantu over there. Thank you for everything you do in making it better for our kids. And I do mean our kids. Again, thank you. Be safe on the way home. God bless. And thank you. Hope to see you back next year.